Good morning, Dolphins. I'm Jonah from Miss Thingman's class. And I'm Lily from Miss Bender's class. And this is WNTE News. Today's date is Tuesday, March 16th. Today's Giant Panda Bear Day. The Giant Panda Bear is one of the cutest, most adorable, and most loved animals on the planet. It's a favorite stuffed animal of many kids and more than a few adults. So, it makes perfect sense why this special day exists in their honor. The giant panda bear is an endangered species. There are less than 2,000 in existence in the wild. Luckily, giant pandas are in over 100 zoos around the world. Giant pandas are a symbol of International World Wildlife Federation. Want to help the giant panda? You can go online to learn about donating to the World Wild Wildlife Federation. Donate donations help conserve pandas in their natural habitats. The link is the link is in the description of this video. Happy birthday today to Jack Smith in Miss Stingman's class and Sarah Tamsberg in Miss Fender's class. Happy birthday! Now let's check in with Captain Quarantine for the weather report. Good morning, Dolphins. I'm Captain Quarantine, and this is your weather forecast. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. That's right, there's a 90% chance of rain today. We could see nearly half an inch of rain. It's that much. To there. One half of an inch is actually a lot. Moderate rain for one to two hours or heavy rain for 30 to 45 minutes causes deep standing water that lasts for long periods of time. The high today is 61 and the low is 49. Winds are coming from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be dry and partly sunny. Unfortunately, that is going to last Tomorrow night and Thursday, we can expect more rain. Remember, Chase explained yesterday that warm air holds more moisture. You know, the word humid? Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. For instance, today, the humidity is at 74%. See, less humidity equals less rain. Stay cool, stay dry, stay safe, and stay healthy, Dolphins. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Captain. In school news, I'm happy to report that Camp Invention will be back this summer in North Topsail. Camp will be the week of July 12th through 16th. Right now, campers can receive $40 off with the code SUM40, so SUM40. This is better than the host county discount. Miss Wolf is also looking for a camp parent. She needs a parent that will promote the camp. Get set for a global adventure with Duck Chuck at Camp Invention. Launch your duck to famous landmarks around the world with your very own custom built launcher. Get outside and put physics to the test as you experiment with trajectory and velocity. Use the power of problem solving and persistence to help your duck find their way home. Don't miss this chance to launch the best summer ever. Register now at invent.org camp for your in-person or at-home camp experience. Yesterday we mentioned Down Syndrome Awareness Day is this Sunday, March 21st. We'll be joining the hashtag Lots of Sock campaign by wearing the fun crazy socks this Friday. Remember, you can order some socks from the top the Topso High School marching band. The the link to order is in the description of this episode. You'll be helping the band and the local women's shelter. You might be wondering what Down syndrome is. Here are some facts about Down syndrome. Most people are born with 46 chromosomes. People with Down syndrome are born with 47. Having an extra chromosome affects muscles in the mouth, making speech more difficult. Kids with Down syndrome have a harder time remembering things, but they can learn just like us. They just need more time and help. Kids with Down syndrome are very positive and fun to be around. They are loyal friends and
and should be treated like everyone else. We'll have more facts about Down syndrome on Thursday's episode. Now it's time to feature another star student at North Tops Elementary. Congratulations to Carson Barlett in Ms. Hall's second grade class. Ms. Hall said Carson has the most positive outlook. He uses respectful responses in class and he tries his best and is always willing to help those in need. Carson's favorite part of school is social studies because you get to make stuff and, and, and we always are learning new things. Carson likes to make crafts. He also likes playing games with his friends. He is so thoughtful to buy games for his friends so they can play together. Not just video games either, mostly board games. Carson, like Holly from yesterday, thinks the most important swim tray at her school is to stay safe so people don't get hurt. He would also like to be a pastor when he grows up, just like his dad. Carson, you are an inspiration. Keep up the great work. Speaking of Holly, our star student from yesterday, we have a message from her about the Hero Squad. Check it out. I'm Holly and I'm part of the Hero Squad. It's day two, Dolphins. If you made your online giving page, you will receive your power rate soon. It feels great to be in the squad. We're making a huge difference. We're helping kill leukemia. Keep up the great work, Dolphins. Remember, every hero needs a squad. Thanks, Holly Shay, for Miss Martin's class for getting us pumped to be heroes. Have you found some spare change to donate yet? Now, please stand for the pledge of allegiance, followed by the school pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to be safe, well prepared, in control, and to make respectful choices. You may be seated. Thanks for tuning in today, Dolphins. Have a great St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Don't forget to wear green. I'm Jonah. And I'm Lily. And don't forget to swim to success. And just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming.